All right, everybody. Hello, BookTube, author tube. Um, so today I'm starting even later. It's twelve thirty. Um, <clears throat> what we did yesterday was we finished the chapter with Big Joe, which is chapter four. Um, did chapter five. Did chapter six. Did chapter seven. And then started chapter eight. Um, we're almost at 10,000 words so far. So we're almost a quarter of the way there. Um, <clears throat> I did add um, a morgue scene with Doc Howe who, um, if you don't know, he's like a little, tiny, weedy, um, all skin and bone, big, bald head, little, tiny glasses. Um, probably, if you could imagine, um, the professor guy from Nightmare Before Christmas... If he was a real person, that would be, like, kind of the closest thing. And he has an affinity for Hank because um, Hank Bradshaw has killed a lot of people. And um, so Doc Howe is just kind of infatuated with him because he's had to do the um, coroner's report on all these people that Hank has killed over the years. So, um, he's always willing to do things he shouldn't do to help Hank out if he can help it. Um, and then some other things came up um, where I'm going to be straying from the outline because um, the, the secretary and Hank are getting along so well that I kind of don't want him to hook up with the sister anymore. So, I think what I'm going to do is get rid of that whole hooking up with the sister angle. Because, um the back and forth between Helen and Hank is so good. I'm having such a good time with that. So I moved some of the sister meetings up. Um, basically just the second one. Um, and then I'm going to have everything kind of like the last one, two, three, four, five, probably the last three, because I could probably condense these three chapters, well, maybe four. Um, I could condense these two chapters into one chapter. Um, so that's how that's going to go. Um... Yeah, and I am, I hope you guys are still enjoying this, and just so you know, after I write this, I will also be going over um, editing, and I will be going over cover design, and um, publishing, and marketing, so um, this whole process will be very transparent. Um... So yeah, I guess I'm going to jump right in. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to um, nail those um, tomorrow when I am writing. So I have um, 43, uh, basically still 4,400 words to do today. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's kind of late in the day, and I'm still a little drained, so, um, we'll see how this goes, so, I'll see ya in probably about a half hour, my time, your time, it'll be much quicker.
Um, hello again. <clears throat> Took a little break, got another cup of coffee. Um, one thing I wanted to say, um, I brought it up a little bit earlier, but don't ever feel like you can't change something. So, for instance, um, as I did my outline, the love interest was going to be the client. And changing a love interest um, is usually a pretty big thing. But um, I said this about my scripts, and I said it about my books. It's like, whenever you're writing something, it becomes like a living, breathing creature, okay? And um, it will change. And... I think the thing that changes the people, like the difference between people who could write a lot and the people who spend years on one book is they can't allow themselves to have things deviate from the way they had envisioned it. So <clears throat> when they come up to like something like they wrote themselves into a corner or something instead of just like changing something or allowing something to happen that they hadn't planned they spend months with writer's block trying to figure out how to fix this thing and i mean if you want to do it that way that's fine but um i just completely allow because like as i'm writing like when i'm outlining i don't know um, how the dialogue's gonna flow. I don't know, um, every little tiny thing about a character, but as I'm writing, um, characteristics pop up and all this other stuff, and it makes it easy to, um, change stuff if you're not married to your idea, okay? So, um, that's that. I just wanted to kind of make that clear, um, beforehand. So I am at, um, 1,227 words. We're over 10,000 words altogether. Um, I'm on the ninth chapter. Yes. And, um, I'm going to continue this a bit. Um, let me see here. Where should he meet her? I'll have her come to his office. Okay. So, I'm going back in. Oops. Hello, everybody. Um, I had to do post office runs and um, stuff like that, and I still have to go to the grocery store. And then in two hours, I have to be at my daughter's back to school night. So, what I'm going to try to do is get like an hour done here and then get ready to go to that. And when I get home, try to knock out um, the rest. So I think I'll get, um, actually I don't even know. I'm almost halfway done now. Um, 
I could try to get another, um, if I could get another 2,000 words done this hour, um, I won't really have a whole lot to do. So, um, less yak and more smack, so I'm going to jump on this. Okay, everybody, I'm going to cut it there for right now. <clears throat> Go get ready. Um, how many... I don't know why I came to this screen. Let me see. How many do I have left? I'm at 32.18. So I'm pretty close. Another thousand words. So one more chapter. <clears throat> and I should be good. So I'll do that when I get home tonight. And then I will put all this together. And put the video up.